Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Xenonauts. It's very, very early in the morning. I have the shift. That means my son Marius, uh, now nearly seven weeks old, is on my belly resting and I'm trying to make a progress in the game. We have built another base in North America. At the moment we have the problem that we have no good technologies to research as we miss enemy ships. We have already fought against a hell of a lot of civilians, alien civilians, but to progress in research, as far as I know, as I remember it from the old uh, XCOM and UFO series, we need heavier weapons or an uh, energy core. I have already conquered an enemy UFO, light type, but there was no energy core there. Bad for us. So, also we lost two of our best men due to my how do you say incompetence I lost two men for absolutely no reason I was just dumb I was you know incompetent incompetent hits it hunter viper turret so now we have nothing to research and a hell of a lot of research has to pay We need food, meaning we need a new foe. And we need that new foe fast. I might not have shown that, but I find that very interesting. You can um, give people roles and save equipment for special roles and then the guys are all equipped the same way. I find that very very good. I totally like that. So just click here. Um, equip different lot, lot out and then they will um, load equip with that what, what you have uh, saved for that. So if you could change every assault team will have this equipment if you order it to. I find that very very good. That uh, saves you a hell of a lot of time. Capture an alien officer for interrogation. Well, that capturing is far more dangerous than you think. Living room, storeroom, medical care center, go to base. Very good. Okay, what we want is we want soldiers here. Eight of them. Okay, we want those with the highest number of accuracy at our disposal. Oh boy. This one has 60 time units, so he's coming with us. So the rest is real crappy. Boy, oh, we have only seven. I need one more. Yeah, take that one. So now there are eight coming. So at least this base will be protected if it gets attacked while it has no defenses online. No interceptors, no radar, or nothing of that sort. There's a lot of going on in the world. And we have no... oh yes, the people are dying here in Soviet Union and Indochina. And there are no UFOs coming for us. This is really bad. We're dying out of hunger. I promise you that. Meaning, as long as there's no UFO coming, we'll have to... Go to base. Okay. I... Order you to change into assault. Change you into assault. Change you into 
assault change you into assault okay you are a little bit overburdened you not you are obviously so perfect the rest should be fine accuracy 40 55 56 57 60 accuracy I'll tell you what I'll make a rifleman out of you and an assault man out of you since you have the better accuracy rating so I sure as hell have no armor here but I think I will need money for the fighter planes I'm not even sure if I can pay one fighter plane and we will need a transporter here and several other fighter planes two at least do I have enough hungers for two? yes I have I'm a brilliant fella this reminds me I have no idea how I pay fighter planes Oh, you're kidding me. Crap, we need a new foe. Small. This could be trouble. Please, please, please stay in touch. Engage. Take it down. Okay, perfect. At least they got that. Select new target. Try. And you, my friend. I'm not sure you can do... Oh, crap. Disengage. I'm a fool. That is the one without ammunition. Uh, with, a, with only a single shot. Run, forest! Please reach it before it gets dark. I do not want to fight in the night. I do not want to. Uh. Oh, just great. Minor damage. Okay. I must find a way to storm UFOs. Okay. This looks like civilians. Kneel 
cooldown. I do not know if we will be intercepting warriors or civilian and alien enemies, so we better spread out a little. We make a full spread out you will help him well he's wearing combat armor he should be able to take a hit alien activity. I do not know if he's crouching because there's some kind of enemy. I bet the aliens are this way. Oops. Okay. Where does he see someone? <gasps> I think he's wearing a normal weapon. And this is bad because he can easily move around and shoot this guy since his sh sh shield is um, in the wrong direction. So. You go there and assist. I don't think Marius is sleeping very tightly. I think it is possible that we have to... Oh crap. Oh, the map ends there, so there's no reason to go that way. That was dumb. Putting him in here was totally insane. hope I'm not punished for that madness. So there can be no alien. It had, had has been uh, would have been shooting a long time ago. So you kneel down. You get into position here. It is a fact that captured aliens give far more um, experience than killed aliens. So we're trying to take as many prisoners as we can. So, you with the shield, you will give cover. And you cannot shoot, 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 shit. Or perhaps we can get him a little bit out of his defenses. Okay. Better be safe than sorry. I know it's unnecessary, but you know me. I lost a man, two men, our lucky guy due to my incapab incapability of giving command orders or the right orders and so I'm better checking double. 
it's just bad if the enemy has grenades, but I think these are civilians. I think I wouldn't have noticed a bigger gun if he had one. We're safe here. Okay, he's just sitting there waiting. He's out of the line. 5% hitting chance, you're kidding me. Okay, kneel down. Miserable, as expected. Where is the problem? Why, guy, why are you guys hitting so badly? This is a perfect target for grenades, I know. So you better stay there, you better stay there, and you move your ass here ASAP. So you have full movement points, but you can do anything. I find this very useful. Can you throw a grenade? Over the, the hill? No, he can. Oh, he can throw it here. So he will perhaps be flash banged. But no, we save the grenades. I didn't expect that. I was pretty sure he was going to advance on us at some point. Oh, they're waiting for us here. Okay, I, I get it. Get ready. This is going to be a two front war. Kneel down. You get ready. And now we have a real problem because if we move over the edge here, this guy will simply shoot us. And he would be totally right to do so. Very good firing line, sir. Very good firing line. And you, back. Because I have the bad feeling that he can just run around here and shoot us as he likes. So, we need to get more troops into firing position. The problem is, if I move here, he can just move there and shoot us. And over this distance, he might be able to hit us. So do not hasten. Yes, I saw that coming. You're nuts. You're out of your freaking mind. be serious. So... You go there. Yeah, we need cover. 
Lots and lots and lots of cover. Okay, are there any more aliens? No, this way is clear, okay. So how do we get there and not being shot to pieces? This is a mobile shield. No target available there. No target available there. No target available there. Crap shit. He's totally safe while he's there. Okay. I really want to know, are you a civilian or not? Non-combatant, it's civilians again. So that means for us, no energy core, no new technologies, nothing. wonder if he will do the same. No. They're not that proud anymore. Damn it, I must really think of different tactics. The moment I engage real military, real enemy soldiers... Oh, boy. This will end in a bloodbath if I do not change my tactics. This mobile shield is good, but against someone who's able to throw grenades and that stuff, that is really not going to help. Okay, I better get behind you. Okay. You get down, you get down. You cannot do much. Just wait and trust. I love this shield. <sighs> this is a bad situation. If I'm not going to make a run. Don't you tell me I do not have enough time units to fire on that. Oh, bloody hell. Crap. Can you kill that one for me, please? for a shot. If I kneel down this costs five points, right? So I will still be able to fire. Oh great, now he's suppressed. Perfect. Perfect. I suppressed my own guy. Or perhaps we can force him back. With a little show of force. 
And I better get here and put my shield in the line. Well, you have armor and you're closer, so I put my shield on you. You cannot do anything. I can just hope that the shield will hold. All that he's dumb as a nail. Both works. Question is, does he any action points left? I don't think so. I have two less points, too few points to do anything useful, so I must shoot him. I could not take him prisoner because these action points are not enough, not nearly enough to capture someone. So I bet my ass off there will be the next group of them. Oh, there is a UFO. Looks like hell. Oh, crap. That was bad. That was too proud. That was too proud of a move, if you ask me. Okay, everyone that can go into firing position. We need a good ankle to fire here. There can still be someone there and I would be running right into his trap. I knew it, I'm a stump as hell. Set lying on his side, one arm stretched, one arm on his, uh, I don't know how you call that. It's where hamsters put their food. It's uh, the right and the left side of your mouth. Okay, Paul. Is this your only obstacle? How about you? S looks like a fair... Well, you can sh still... Well, I want you to be ready to take the shot. Yeah. That's why, because I know you. Bad. You get out of the way a little bit more. Very good. I'm very, very proud of you. So, is that too proud of a move? I don't think so. So, and you? Down. So far, no wounded, no dead. Could be worse. So my fighters, my sharpshooters are all exhausted. Pretty sure the rest of them wait in the UFO, ready to kick. <laughs> so here we stand. How about you? Can you move here? So... You make sure there is no one up there. Looks good to me. Mm. 
Yeah, now don't be too proud. Our long range support is too far beyond. Better here and kneel. 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 Always kneel. The enemy does that all the time and he has good reasons for it. My guys looks a little bit like Roman soldiers, don't you think? A big tower shield and then a short one-handed weapon like the Gladius? Looks a hell of a lot like a Roman equipment to me. So he's covering. I do not know if he has seen any kind of target. Soon you get down. So he will be protected by the thing from that side. So you go down. You should actually stand with the rest of the group. So, you advance on positions. Kneel down, kneel down. That is a very proud move. Kneel down. And I think my son's moving, so this could very well be the end of the recording, depending on what my son decides as his next move, either waking up or sleeping on. Damn it, I'm hungry. But my wife needs her sleep. So if there were any other, this guy would have been shot. Yeah, that was a little bit too proud of a move, but the theory was right. So it's UFO capturing again. The part I hate most. The part where you lose most of your people. I know, I lost two of my, my guys by that. We must get our men into firing position here. And we must get them there without being shot to pieces. And we still cannot be sure that there is no alien lurking. on this side of the map. But I hear movement that sounds more like in the UFO. It's like the old UFO series, XCOM series. You can use your ears. Oh, I, I was informed that this might not be UFO. Um, uh, that it was not called XCOM, the old series, but UFO. I'm not totally sure by that. I'm, I do try to remember the, the package, which showed a more insect-like alien, if I'm not wrong, and I'm totally not sure if it was called XCOM or UFO. I think it was called UFO, Enemy Unknown. And then there was XCOM Terror from the Deep. Or was it different? I'm not sure. Okay, um... Who has got full movement point left? You and you. Yes, well, you stand ready to storm the... Oh, there is a hole in the fence. That might be me. In my first, 
or second episode I said the enemy never gets out of his UFO. I paid for that mistake with two of my men. I will not make that mistake again. They can get out of there and they will get out of there if you give them the time and the chance. So what we will do is we will go into firing positions as best as we can. Okay, there is no one. I think they're concentrated in the UFO. Where is my other shield guy? Okay. He is in there. I bet there is only one remaining just inside the UFO. Do you know what? You go there. Put that down. Take that. Heal your comrade. Who is now fully healed. Put that back. Pick up your gun. And go this way. And kneel down. Done. You are standing ready. You could go. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. You could go here. You could go there. And we'll need to kneel down. Please do not come out of your ship. Please. It is so hard to get into position. Oh, Marius, this is a bad time to wake up. We are... We're just about to... What a dumb way to move. Okay, you all know the drill. Oh, can you throw the smoke grenade? Is this the smoke grenade that I'm... yes. I don't want to throw the wrong grenades. Okay. Okay, here they are. Let's do what we do best. Throw in some grenades of our own. Oh, we got no action points. Okay. Okay, you. I want a grenade in here. And down. Can you throw a grenade? I hope that these grenades will have some effect somehow. Oh, it's not really working, is it? Okay, a grenade. These grenades cost nothing, so throw them as you like it. OK. 
Okay. We have no shot, so let's do next turn. They just keep standing in the gas. These guys are tough. I give them that. Does you have a grenade left, right? So tell you what, you get a little bit aside. No, we wait them to come out. Or for the for the things to go away. Why can I no longer see into the UFO? Is that some kind of hideous bug? This is really bad. I cannot see into the UFO, I cannot fight them. I think one of them just subscribed to the dust. Can you throw another in? I buy it. Good. At least I hope. Oh crap, there's one more of them. And I have no more grenades. Cannot shoot him. Can you shoot him? Yes, but with miserable chances. Oh, <gasps> impressive! Tell you what, change of plan. As long as the mist is there, we cannot storm the UFO. That's clear. So, let's see what he does. Where is the enemy? Good. That should be one. Hell. <gasps> Run for your life. That was a bad idea. This could have gone badly wrong. mist is there, we cannot storm because we cannot go around the mist. Oh crap. I'm so dumb. So... And now we have a wounded again, for totally no reason. So... 
you cannot shoot him your chances of shooting him are not very good do not destroy the interior thank you You perfect shot, don't let me down. Thank you. Good rating. Data core is destroyed again. Surviving civilians captured it's very good. She got a medal. Astrid Brown, well, it's what my fault, not yours. Can I intercept that UFO? No, we're all short on fuel. They need simply too long to refuel. Stop. You there, I know you're, lo you're low on ammunition and you're wounded, but... We have to go there ASAP. Oh no, oh no, stop that, stop that. You, Charlie, return to base. Why are they destroyed? This reminds me of, Oh, because I ordered them not to return. So they shoot down the UFO and then they crashed because of the lack of fuel. Oh, I'm so dumb. Well, at last I got the UFO. Uh, Seventy-two hours. For one fighter? You're kidding me. How much is a dropship? 100,000. Oh boy. This is also expensive. If I sell all of them, how much money will I get out of it? Ah, forget it. It's not helping. And this dump ass here is not able to shoot down a UFO, is he? Because that thing will simply dodge his attack. Oh, it's been repaired. I've, I cannot launch it again. I find that not good. You should be able to launch um, lightly damaged planes like you were in the previous versions. Why do I not get this enemy th that the other countries have down to you? For this would really help me now. Damn it, I'm so down on money, you would not believe it. And look that, the casualty numbers numbers are running sky high. Oh, they've got the fighter. Very good. At least something works out now. Seven days until radar is operational. How are our fighters here? Oh boy, they're still low on health. 
I ask myself, wouldn't it be easier forty six hours and uh, sixty four hours that is totally catastrophic long. Well, but that's the game. I can't load, I can't save, I can't do shit. And I bet my ass off this guy here cannot intercept anyone. So, I'm pretty sure... You make a run for it. Yeah. You're a dump as hell. You're totally inadequate for shooting down enemy UFOs. I ask myself why I even have you in my fleet. Why do you have no gun? You need a gun! This way you're no help to me at all. He can just do whatever he likes and there's nothing I can do against it. Well, we can try something. Okay, we fire one rocket. And now we fire the other rocket. With any luck, the rocket will just know. It can just dodge as long as it wants. Oh, my son is pissed too. Yes, I know, this is totally insane. This thing can dodge as often as it wants. Girls, uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going down here. Oh crap. They can do as they like and we cannot stop them. Perhaps I can do that again. Well, I have no other thing to do. Then try to get him down one or the other way. I fear that we will not last long. At least the fighters should be operational again. Go to base. Now at least we have a chance. Intercept. North American base. Get it, boy. Oh hell, this one has an escort. That means that's a big one.
you know what? You keep your rockets until he is so close that he starts firing on his own. Ah, ah got ya. Question is, do we have enough fuel to go there? Take that sucker down. Intercept. They're still refueling. So, but now they're no longer refueling. You are small, okay. I don't like this. Combat fuel, tail target. No, it's getting out of sight, right? Engage. Minor damage. Perhaps we are happy, and it's n it's not everything okay here. Yes, perhaps we are lucky, and it's not this lizards again. So, well, but I think this Let's Play was long enough and my son is waking up, so I stopped the recording here to keep um, the pressure and excitement, and we'll see each other again next time. Bye!